All right, dudes, welcome to another um, DJ tutorial for the DJs. <laughs> okay. So I've got a, a load of loops here. We're trying to figure out how to do an arrangement, uh, audio sequencing. So I'm only using audio loops. I'm not using any MIDI at all. So where did I get these loops? Well, you can find them online for free for play from places like musicradar.com or uh, freesound.org. Or if you just go into your favorite search engine and put in free techno loops, free hip hop loops, free whatever the heck you want loops, you can get your own loops. Um, if you are feeling a little bit intimidated by what you have to do, just use this session that I've given you, it's fine. Uh, download it from the link, double click it, it'll extract the ALP file, and then wherever you've extracted the ALP file, go to file, open, and open it from there. Um, if you are very adventurous, which I hope that you are, then uh, I would recommend that you try and record in a sample yourself. Uh, for example, use an external synthesizer or record in a record, or if you've got a microphone, maybe do some hand claps, uh, 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 however you want to go about it. But uh, if you're just worried about getting this in, uh, just use what's in front of you, copy what I'm doing, and that will show me that you can mechanically do what I would like you to be able to do at this point. Okay, so it's very easy. The first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that this loop is off. If this loop is on, you'll get caught recording in a loop and we do not want that. So that should be off. Then I'm going to hit master stop. So this is your master track over here. We're going to hit stop and we'll stop all the tracks that are playing. And then it's a very simple thing. All I have to do is find tracks that I think sound well. I'm going to start from an arrangement. I'm going to slowly build it up into a main beat, into a drop down, into the big reveal, and then maybe I'll stop it. I might stop it at that point because you you know you'll get the point. So I've done this a few times already, so I can be quick. I know which ones sound good together. You need to spend a little bit of time with the loops see which ones work, kind of organize them. I've organized them like kick, loop, break, perk, congo. I've organized them into a rough kind of a feel. I don't need this one, so I'm going to delete it. It just didn't work for me. So let's start. I know that I'm going to start with the water pad and uh, I'm going to, the hats. Sorry guys. <laughs> uh, there is a, a delay on these uh, speakers, so hopefully I don't trip over my words. That's how I'm going to start. Now on the master track, you can right click here and you can go capture and insert scene. And what it'll do is it'll capture the loops that are playing and create a scene and keep them playing. So if you want to tidy things up, you can click on the number five in this case and you can go command or or control or and type in the word intro or the name of the section that we're currently working on. So now that's how I'm gonna gonna start. So I'm gonna try and find the thing that I think works well with this. So let's see. I've put some effects on. I like that. So rather than go right click and capture and insert scene, I'm gonna use the shortcut, which is Control Shift I or Command Shift I on the Mac, and I think Control Shift I on a PC. If you right click there, you'll see what it is. It's Command Shift I. There we have it. Um, next, I think this one. Yep, Command Shift I. Now you can see that this went into the wrong place. It's okay, I can just click and drag it down. You can move these around. Shouldn't stop playing. Don't know why it does, but it does. So what next? Mm, maybe this? I don't think so. Maybe this? I don't think so. This? This. Yeah. Yeah. Command Shift I. Now I'm clicking five because if I go Command Shift I now, it'll put it next. So it's in the right place. That's why I'm kind of constantly going, going over here. Now I'm going to bring in the main beat. a lot of reverb on that beat. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I like the way it sounds. So, what the heck? It's my track. Command Shift I. Now, I don't want the full beat, so I'm going to double click it so as I can see the waveform. 
and I'm going to reduce the internal loop points. That's all I want. And next, I'm tired of that deep uh, Atmos FX, so I'm just going to hit stop. These are the track stops, so I can stop that track. And I'm going to bring in this one. So I'm going to stop the deep Atmos. Click 7, Command Shift I. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to Command Shift I again, because I want the same loop. But this time, I'm going to have a kind of a breakdown. So I'm going to move this to here. Good. And I'm going to press... That's what I want in next. And I'm going to hit stop on this. So it'll stop that loop. The track stops. Click 9, Command Shift I. That's my next deck, the next uh, loop. And then I'm going to bring in the full loop again. Here we go. I think I'll bring in this as well. Tentative. Turn it down a bit. I have no EQ on that to tidy it up. Oh, we get the juice. Command Shift I. And then. Breaking it down now. Command Shift I. And uh, let's see what's next. This one and this one. Oh, I never brought in my big hats. I want to bring them in down here. So I'm just going to duplicate it and I can, you know, add to it here. I think that's this loop I'm going to try and do something interesting. Yep. I should die. So you see the kick isn't there now in the next one. Stop this. I don't know. the crack. And uh, one more. Hand shift I. That's how I'm going to end it. Okay. So, here's my basic arrangement. Oh, it's so hard to hear. Here's my basic arrangement. And I could rename these all if I want. I am not bothered. There is too many of them. So how do we turn this? How do we get it from this page into this page? You can see I'd already done it. Well, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that loop is not on. I had that problem previously in the video and had to record this video two times. So let's start. I'm going to start off with the, by pressing the play on the master, uh, the master scene play. And this is the track I'm going to start with. These two tracks. And so once I've decided where I want to start, hit stop twice, hit record, and it'll automatic once it starts playing, it'll play these loops. So here we go. Oh, record. One, two. Now I'm gonna use this um tempo transport the counter here, as well as my ears to see where I need to go. Three, two, one, kick kick. So you can see I hit it just before and it needed to actually play. 
Usually it's eights, sixteens. Here we go. Three, two, one, four. Now I'm going to try and be quick here to show you real-time editing. So I was able to turn on, on and off loops on the fly and it'll record them. It'll record that into the arrangement window. I'm used to these numbers, you know, 49, here we go. You get kind of used to these numbers. That's a lovely little place for me to now to do some editing and some automation. Bip, 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 bip. You know that kind of stuff. Three, two, one. So where I'm counting on three, two, one, that's usually where I do some edits, some automation to try and blend the loops together so they don't sound quite as switchy. Um... That's the full house loop now. And I'm mixing everything against the house loop. I've made this a little bit easier for you. In that I've manually adjusted the levels already. You can see how important leveling is. Before you do any EQ, you should level mix everything against the kick. So you make the kick nice and loud, and then you adjust everything against it. Making sure you're never going to the red, so I never go to the red. Oh my. Nice bit of space there for those um, rolls. Little pitch edit on those Congos for no particular reason. Okay. There it is. If I hit the tab button, we see it in the arrangement, and I can go in, press play. This went on, went on a bit too long, and I could start editing from here, but we're not going to look at that today. We'll look at another day, but that's my whole arrangement. There's my song. There's the times when I turned off the loops before the break. The last thing you should do is go File, Save As, and Save It As my name my track dot als so whatever your name is whatever you want to call the track and hit save i'm going to replace what's there um and that's it guys find loops that you like throw them in there try and make sure that they're roughly in the same pitch that they the grooves don't clash that they sound okay together you know you don't have to overly think this they just that sounds nice that doesn't sound nice use your passion to guide you use your personal tastes to guide you it's not about being cool it's just about doing it uh, okay I hope this video uh, was of some use and I would like to see these uh, audio tracks before Christmas so if you've got Ableton at home you know okay guys Look at this confusion. It's a window, 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 window. All right, guys. See you next time.